Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a two year review on my Emily wallet in Fuchsia. I got this, I'm going to look over there, March 6th, March 6th of 2015. So I've actually had it over two years, but I know I've used it for the full two years. The reason why I'm doing this update is because I am no longer using it for right now because I got the new Tahitian Clemens wallet. So I've been using that, which I'm going to do a review, I think right after this. So subscribe and watch that and yeah. So I have had this for two years and I used it for two years. I used it constantly. I was in and out of, that's like my favorite little handbag, my little um, new bottle. What is it called? I don't know. You guys will know. I have done, I think, a two-year review of that as well, which I will link it down in the down bar. But this is my Fuchsia Emily wallet. I actually love the Emily style wallet. It is, I would, I think it's like my favorite. So this is going to be wear and tear, how I've lo liked it, which of course I have loved this wallet. I was thinking of getting it in emprunt leather in the little pink color, the light pink color, which I don't know if, if it's called Rose Ballerine or not. But sorry, let's get into this wear and tear. So of course I've loved it. I've worn it for constantly two years and I think it is in great condition. It's very flexible but it's still tight which I mean by tight is when I pull push it up it goes down pretty nice the newer ones I have found the ones with like the rose ballerine very soft and smushy to me I like it to be a little bit more stiffer but it's actually gotten softened up over time so I'm going to do the outer layer first which it looks pretty good. I'm just looking at the canvas right now. My, so I have nothing in it. Uh, my, what is that, um, card holders, they're not really stretched out, but I've never, only, I've only put one card. But why I think these are a little bit more stretched out, these ones are a little bit more stretched out is because I always grabbed from the left side. I don't think about that. I always grab from the left side so wh that's why I think these are ones are a little bit more stretched out I don't know if you'll be able to see no they look the same but no tearing no ripping no nothing the outside looks good my button does have some wear marks on it it is supposed to have that texture but there's a little like where I rubbed it on something I don't, oh, see right there? But it has like that texture where it was supposed to, but it has like a little wear mark. Uh, the wear mark, I don't think got bigger. I think I had it the last time I did a one year review on it, which I don't think it's gotten worse, but that's the one main wear mark. On the other outer part of the wallet, stitching is perfect nothing new uh i kind of cleaned mine with a baby wipe just to get like the oils and the dirt off of it when after once i start store it i kind of clean it which the button the button actually looks really good yeah that's pretty shiny still so i'm going to do the look at the glazing and so the outskirt has this little rippling to it, which that I think is pretty normal. And then I know last time I had the pulling where this is starting to kind of pull away from because it just has the glazing. And this one too, but the, the stitching is still intact so it's not going to move. Which I think it's the same as the one ear. That it's, um, ooh, I think I see some other stuff on this side. Not on this side. So on this side, so it's kind of pulling apart right here, but you can see that it's pulling apart right here, this right here, and up here, I believe. Yeah, right? 
there. I don't know if they'll be able to even see it. But that's just from opening and closing it and bending it back where it's pulling apart like from the canvas to from the leather almost. So that is kind of a bit sucky. You could, yeah, you could, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I'm trying to get good pictures. So that's a little sucky. So the sides, so that's really what's pulling on the sides. This side is not pulling, but it's almost, the glazing is a little bit separating, but that side is not actually almost bubbling like this side where it has like a big ripple right here. See that? See? Ooh, you can see it right there. Uh -huh, right there. So that sucks. Um, I know that there was somewhere on the bottom or on the sides, on the bottom. Uh, there's still definitely wear there, but nothing is actually peeling or anything or, or fraying. Uh, maybe a little fraying. A little fraying. But I feel like that's the same as last year. This, I feel, is this it has just fuzzes. Same as last year. So that's the outer part. Um, the inner, the inner um, change, where I do put change, it is fine. No scratches or nothing. Um, my zipper, good. Cool. Um, my pull tab is good. There is some wear on the zipper, which it's getting, yes, you can see it, where it gets a little bit dark where this goes, but maybe if I tried to clean it, it would come off, but I haven't. Um, and then inside is good. I still have my cards there, and this is where I usually put my cash, which is good, and this is where I like put my extra cards. Let me see. No. I feel like this, this wallet is definitely a good buy. I think the only real issue I believe on this wallet is just the sides of opening and closing. But you're going to have that with the Insulet wallet. You're, you could have it with the Clemens wallet. You could, you're going to have it with all wallets. But from two years of constant use, I think it, this is a total winner and I would buy this piece in other colors. You know, I have, I did buy the Rose Ballerine one, but I just feel like it wasn't pink enough, so I did return it, but I absolutely love this wallet. It's definitely, definitely my favorite, but I am going to do a review on my Titian Clemens wallet. So, yeah. Oh, I, let me do a comparison between the Fuchsia and this I don't think it's Rose Ballerine Pink, but it's, I just call it the Tahitian Pink. So, this is my new baby, but I'm going to do a review on that um, after this video. So, so comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.